The PNG Trade and Investment Mission arrived in the Solomon Islands capital Honiara last Wednesday to a rousing traditional welcome. Minister Maru then paid a courtesy visit to the Solomon Islands Prime Minister, Gordon Dasi Lilo. You are truly accepted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Members of the private sector from both PNG and the Solomon Islands met at the official opening of the business forum. The meetings were opened by the commerce and industry ministers from both countries. Solomon Islands Minister Elijah Muala acknowledged that PNG was a listed top 10 investor in the Solomon Islands. There are 30 operating PNG companies here in the likes of Bank South Pacific and Credit Corp, creating jobs and generating revenue for the Solomon Islands. The government of Solomon Islands is encouraged to see a number of distinguished representatives of PNG businesses and investors who have keen interest to invest and also establish strong business link with local businesses in Solomon Island. We have seen a steady increase in capital investment by PNG based companies here in Solomon Island. Minister Maru confirmed that PNG's investments in the Solomon Islands was worth about two billion Solomon Island dollars. Maru then urged Solomon Islands to step up its trade agreements for the sake of their businesses and the private sector. There is nothing stopping PNG, the Solomon Islands from accessing our markets. You may have got like Solomon Tire. We'd like you to sell more tire to us. We are looking for more tire. Whatever you produce, I'm sure we can take. It's up to you to produce quality goods. PNG's market is growing, it's waiting for you. Chief Manager Economics Division of the Solomon Islands Central Bank, Michael Kikiolo, presented the country's economic overview. Solomon Islands economy is stable, but as the country relies heavily on the logging sector, there are predicted risks in the near future, with the indications that logging supplies will decline in the next 10 years. With the Solomon Islands economy currently stable, but predicting near-term risks, Investors are challenged to seek out long-term opportunities that are sustainable. Delhi Bagu, National MTV News, Honiara.